Our culture wants something new. Yeah. On female, and they don't want want one girl. No. Of course. Two, that, it's been long. It's been a long time with just one girl. So Nikki's job would probably be to fight that off. Yeah, she goes. She she supported She's Cardi B. She supported Cardi B yesterday. She celebrated Cardi B. We all celebrated Cardi B yesterday. Nikki what? tweeted in support. You know, another New Yorker. You know, enjoy this moment. That's you dope. know, they, That's there might have been She's supposed some... to. She's supposed to because yeah. the. You know, I think it's interesting, but I I think that that would be I don't, the competitive nature of our culture. We we started off competing. She, she probably felt like there was a competition for a second and then said, "Nah, because this is this." You see what I'm saying? Like, what it does is amazing. What Cardi does is so so amazing for our culture. It means there is no rules. It means nothing. It's a wild, wild west out here. Yeah. Because Love and Hip Hop was the graveyard. Pretty it means much. if you saw you on there, it meant you was finished in our culture. She, she, it's, that was you know part of her ascension, like, her yep. step up. Right. With that. Her going and she that, left at the right time, but too. But coming through that direction, it goes, whoa. So now it, it won't be the only one. Because the visibility of the show allows it to, it changes the the whole perspective of the platform to me. Like as far as Mona Scott and what she's doing with reality television over there. But she, you know, Cardi B finessed uh, Instagram nicely. Yeah, she did. Whole First. culture, it's whole culture. The things that she was saying for shock value, that yeah, it connected the whole culture, and it was entertaining because they not familiar with people just saying those things. I think when Big was designing Kim, he was designing the hook. Yeah, a lot of times the, the things in the lyrics were saying. You gotta have the money to fuck with me. Like, like that was the overall premise of the Lil' Kim format. And then when she I think she when that record she had did the uh with the jump off mm-hmm. with, with the Lost Boys. And I think it missed its mark because it wasn't as sexy as she, she was pretty. designed. Hardcore was her base. That that's was it. That like was... that's when Kim does that, they can't beat her at that. She's better than all of them at that. You know what I'm saying? And I listen to the records, like I've heard things that she didn't even release yet. There's, um, well, you, you've things. heard new Little Kim records. Yeah, like well, I, then I knew now because how long ago I listened to them. But I, I've heard music from uh, that during the time period we was out running around, like in Vegas and stuff. And she was out hanging out with Floyd and they play the music and stuff. She has some, she has some things. Like don't, I don't think they just they just go home and just don't do it no more. Like they're doing it, they're just not releasing it as much because they want to make sure that it's it's a real presentation for the public. And then, I, for me, I, I think you gotta you take the shots. The old, our old business would say, sustain your your mystique or your mystery about you by dipping. You ain't seen me at no point. Like my music took off too far, too fast for me to be out in the. Remember, they say we we everywhere. You never there. They couldn't pay me. They couldn't pay me to be there. Why would I go for free? When they would pay somebody to be there, I pay somebody for Instagram to be there, right? So at that point, you're going, wait, I went, my first album took off, I sold 1.7 million records in two weeks. I'm so, not going to be in every club. No, nah, I'm not going to be in the nightclub. My music will be there, <laughs> but I won't be there. Right. They're going to pay me. I'm in stadiums and sheds and stuff like that. If you're going, like, when the last time you see Jay pop up at a, a nightclub? And if he does pop up, there's no pre-promotion at all. Yeah, it's, it's he really just recreational. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fully recreational. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's that at that point, he's going to watch these people. To see what's happening. Yeah, you got to see what's actually, feel what's, what's happening. In the it's almost research for what he's going to do next move. Were you yeah. happy about Jay's last album? Did you like how it sounded? I thought it was too smart. I yeah, you I like said that. that. You said yeah. it was like, it wasn't, it didn't connect. And I was like, no. who gives a fuck? Yeah, look. I, it's in my car right now. You listening to it? I'm listening to the records. Yeah. I, I still like the records. I mean, it's look. But is it, I, isn't but isn't it great to have hip hop in that space where we, we still are, need we it. ain't got to give a fuck about what's nah sad. nah. You don't got to look and make the the record based on somebody else's record list. Yeah, you got that's the more creative part of it. Like when you see these kids and make a record, it don't sound like nothing else is there, and it works. Then you have your moment because there was no there's no duplicate. We can only get that from there. Then like what. What Jay was doing on the record was is, it was more maturity in the actual music. He can take that out because it's youth culture. Hip hop is youth driven, right? And as far as the lyrics are concerned in the actual record, this is why I listen to it because you you can listen to Jay records for fucking Lord knows how long and then start picking up new stuff that he did. 
Because you heard it and you know the words, but you're like, oh, you see how he wrote that? Like, you know what I'm saying? How so when you, say, when you say it was too smart, it was too smart for what the traditional... No, no, no. Traditionally, it would have came in and been a quality piece of work. What it is right now for the, for the audience, the kids that are out actively now involved in the culture that are driving what's hot and what's not, you don't see how that went quiet quick? It had the best marketing campaign. You had 444 all over the place, but who you hear playing it? Us. It's in my the, car. But you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's I, think not, what, I think with the, I think with the way consumption the happens now, though, I think with the way consumption happens now with streaming, right, mm-hmm. on people's phones, you're not going to see, like, that record, none of Jay's records are going to be club records. None of those records are going to be things that people with the window, I mean, even though I've seen people a playing the Damian Marley joining a little bit or whatever. How do you gauge a hit record then? Me personally, yeah, I look at a number of factions. I look at clubs. I look at streams. I look at Shazam. I look at. I mean, obviously, we play it. I use my gut and be like, "Yo, this needs to be played." You know what I'm saying? Says, look, if you said, and then also with Hove, or when you put out a record, you have certain marquee artists that when they put out a record because of who they are in our culture, they, it's going to get played. Like it just but it gets the airplay, like the expected to get the airplay. But what I'm saying is, as soon as those records, the hit records, if not all of the CD. There's something that is supposed to be made to play. You feel what I'm saying? Whether it's to play at radio, so it's a huge hit, or it's to play in nightlife and everything else there. It has to be, uh, or what is it? What is the record? Like, I don't know what... what well, but I, here's the question. Why, at Hove, at, at Hove's point in his career, why does he need to be don't consumed need to do, by young people? No, like, if they don't like it... He doesn't cares? need to do... That's where you went wrong. Need. He doesn't. doesn't need it. He doesn't need to do anything. It's something additional, and it's, you know, for him to get back into his own. You think that goes away? Like, it doesn't go away. The competitive part of, the look, the line that he said with the, the, the future line, why did he say that? Well, uh, put money to the ear. We don't call money. Call that money. No, this tell you how your son no. playing. No, the other one, your future. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your son playing yeah. football with your stepdad in the future or whatever. Yeah. That was on Why? I think it was a learning moment. No, about it's being just a hip hop. It's a line. <laughs> it's a line, and I would have passed on the line. It was a, lear- it was a parental there learning. There was no moment. reason. There was no reason to do that. But so what? what so what was the reason? It's just the competitive side of hip hop. To be in right and now, he, and he, he threw the shot just to throw the shot because he's going to wait. They're going to respond to this. It's trolling, right? It's like look, it, you don't want you don't really want to say what it is because of how they perceive Jay. He wants to. You know, who, is this me? Uh, no, no, he's trolling. Like, uh, he's trolling. Could someone please bring us past the great papa? <laughs> Where's the caviar? Like, you know, you want to tell, look, tell us exactly, man, what you see in that face, man. You know what it is. No, look, I thought, I thought don't it blame was... me. But New York City hip hop. Well, you, 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 it is your fault. He was the program director. Yeah. He did not I play support, that music. No, I supported this is who you. They should be looking I supported for. you. Uh, it That's what back it. It's oh, your fault. God. And then you threatened to have me beat up. And I was like, so what, nigga? This is what Listen, it is. You fuck up. Because I'm like, look, how you gonna mess it up and then say I did? I know you played a party, bro. That's what he's saying. He just, that's what he did. He's full of shit. He go, look, the program, like, all of the artists that made records during that time span, you mean to tell me they didn't play because my records were good? No, they, no, a lot of them. They didn't play because the program director didn't play. No, there play. was actually a lot of people who had hits during that time. A lot of people in New York had okay, hits who? during that who? time. Who? Jim had hits during that time. Cam had hits during that time. Max B had hits during that time. Um, it's post jaw you're saying? Um, yeah, this 50 Cent G-Unit run. It was a lot of... Be- I mean, Buster, obviously, he's Buster, but he was Buster before that. Yeah, Buster, Buster always had his. You know, it, and if he don't look like Buster Rhymes to me, it ain't going to be a hit. <laughs> he's a visual artist. I always like to watch him... One of the best more performers than to, ever. To, to listen. Right, 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 right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So when that's what it... He just got to go back and get himself... And by the way, and also during that time, we lost Stack Bundles, who was on his way. Stack yeah, Bundles yeah. was on his way. But but you said, look, the New York City hip hop died. I didn't shoot it. No, you no, no. did it. No, you pulled it apart. Else can- you pulled it apart. You had everybody beefing with you. Anybody Mm-mm. did a record with Joe or Ja was it. beefing with you. No, listen. And you because pulled it apart. Like- At a time when we could have had unity and everybody came, the marquee no, we artists, could not-, not the new artists, the marquee artists, hey, look, you know did what? not want to work Check together. this out. Listen, look. We could not have had unity at that point. See, because. We have real, real issues going on. Things are different in that time span. So what happens is because John was successful first, 
People had already developed their relationships and had their, their look, Angie, Angie, I would watch her when we interview, and she would be uncomfortable. They played Monopoly together and stuff like that. I knew all of it. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, I look, and I'm like, I like Angie. She never did nothing to me in my career, but I know that they have the relationship, and I'm going, it was cool. Every time we, we spoke, I looked and go, and she loves Jay Z. She loves Jay. Cause her, yeah, but you and Jay now. What, taste you, of you music. And, but why you keep bringing up Hope? Why you keep bringing up Hope? I'm bringing up. You, you and Hope never really just, had a no, thing. We don't have no, no problem at all. That's because of Angie. Y'all rapping about sneakers she, together. That was a loved, great time. She had a relationship with Ja, and she had a relationship with Jay Z. That I can visibly see that he was her favorite, like favorite rap artist, the artist. You know what I mean? So she liked that. And it was like, okay, cool. It's a style. It's a different thing. Yeah, but if like, you, go, you like to operate from a place of everybody having problems with you. Even no, no, when you I came don't in mind. this building, even when you came in this building, you was like, this feels uncomfortable because I like being banned from somewhere. <laughs> oh my God. That's the funk flex. It's a very funk it's flex a very quality. Flex, like I need it. Yeah, like me against the world. Every 